going on guys thank you for joining me again today uh, just decided to shoot a little video after work and uh, did you hear that bird do you see the Sun oh my goodness uh, I just got a new airsoft gun um, it's a gun I've, I've always used if you've ever heard of airsoft uh, it's where we shoot plastic BBs it's like paintball uh, but um, I've always done electric guns and gas guns, but I've never done a spring gun. Uh, I've used it like three times before in events, uh, like a sniper rifle and stuff, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And, um, yeah, I don't know. So I decided to just pick one up, and uh, me and the guys are starting to get back into airsoft as soon as this thing, whole thing blows over. So, yeah, I'm stoked. Uh, but... I'm going to be painting it today because you can't have a sniper rifle that's just black. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And can you guys guess what camera I'm using? Because I have a video going to be coming up here soon. You're going to have to guess what camera I'm using. And I doubt you're going to be able to get it. But it's a sponsored camera, I guess you could say, by a good buddy of mine. So, all right, and here is the beast and I have been absolutely loving it and it's super super accurate right out of the box um but yeah uh let's start spray painting it all right so with camouflage when you're painting camouflage and stuff you got to make sure you start with your darkest color first um at least if you're in like wood wooded areas green areas like where I'm at um you always want to paint your like greens as your base color and then browns and tans last so um, those are like your finishing um, colors and stuff so that's what we're gonna do and uh, you just uh, I have tape but I gotta get my tape ready and I'm gonna show you some different techniques on how to spray paint so yeah let's do it all right, so different things I like to use while um, uh, spray painting and stuff and camouflaging my gun and stuff. Uh, I like to use rope, different different sizes, like thinner and uh, thicker, and tape. So you can tape off the necessary numbers. Uh, don't tape off logos because that's just not cool. Um, and any important... Um, Parts that are like um, moving parts and stuff or like the inner side inside of the barrel and stuff those are the most important things so um, let's get started so things that I'm really gonna get are these numbers that are on the back of the scope here and then some numbers that are on top of the scope here and uh, I want to make sure I get the um, get the chamber right there and then I'm gonna get the orange tip and the whole thing so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be painting the whole thing, but I'm going to make sure I tape over that part right there because that's the moving part. It's most important. So, uh, yeah. And luckily this has um, scope caps, so I'm all right there. I don't have to worry about paint getting in there. So, yeah. All right. So now i got my light color, my dark color, and my black, and brown so got all of my colors I need uh, now I'm just gonna kind of start with my green and then start layering with other colors alrighty so I got everything taped off I got all the numbers uh, taped off and I got uh, any necessary information that I have on there taped off and um, I got my chamber taped off and we'll be all set to paint now Alrighty, so now that we got our base coat on there, um, that's what it looks like. Looks pretty good. Um, just make sure you uh, do the underside of it as well. So that's what I got to do next. And then I'll be showing you how to do some texturing and layering and stuff of different colors. Alright, so these are like 
a few different vegetations that you want to look for if you have any near you. Long grass will work. I really like ferns a lot because they give a lot of different detail. But grass will work as well as like a good base coat. You just put up against it, spray it, and yeah. Uh, that's cool. And also, if you have like a laundry bag or something, um, it's like a mesh. Like if any burlap or mesh, you can do like a snake skin pattern, which is pretty cool. But yeah, you just lean it up against it and then spray it. And it comes out as a cool pattern. So there's a few different techniques to do. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking a little bit of twine and I'm actually wrapping it around the whole thing. So I'm gonna wrap it like this around the scope and the gun. It's just gonna give it a really cool look. And it's gonna break up the pattern of the gun, which is what you want. Give it a good shake. Spray out the excess until you get color. And then... I think this is done. So I got done with, uh, here, I'm gonna restart this. All right, so this is what it looks like after everything. I got all the different colors on there and I think it looks pretty epic. So uh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take off everything. I'm gonna give a final reveal here then. So I got the gun all done, and I got the sling mounted to it, and I really like how it came out. Um, I don't know, a tan, I don't, I, I have to find a certain color of tan. I don't like all the tans, like I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this tan, but uh, it does, it does the job. Like I wanted more of like that kind of tan, like a coyote, like that, on there, but, oh well. But, uh, I'm just going to test fire it for you a little bit. Helps if I have that open. But yeah, it's a really fun gun, uh, and uh, you have when you have a sniper and you're gonna be playing outdoors a lot, you have to paint it. <laughs> uh, you don't have to, but uh, yeah, that's just a quick little video I wanted to make today. And uh, still remember, uh, you have to guess on what camera this is, and it's a new camera. Well, it's like a year old or two years old. But, do you guys know what camera it is? Alright, thank you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I uh, hope you join the family. And uh, that subscribe button's a free click. Click that button. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.